Welcome to OCP TV, the newsroom for the Open Compute Project Foundation. I'm Laura Noland at the 2020 OCP Virtual Summit. Joining me today is Drew Schulke, Vice President, Dell EMC Networking. Welcome to OCP TV, Drew. Thanks, Laura. It's great to be here. Um, certainly my first virtual OCP, but not my first OCP, but happy to be here. We're glad to have you. Well, if you could start out, please, by telling our viewers about Dell EMC Networking and what you do. Yeah, I think the, the thing for all of the attendees of OCP to understand about Dell EMC Networking is that, you know, we're really one of, I, I think it's not, you know, hyperbole to say we're the most open networking vendor in the marketplace today, and certainly even going back five years, where We've had a, a very unique strategy where we believe in the disaggregation and certainly the power of open in terms of furthering our customers' goals and driving and developing their networking strategy. And so that's really core to our ethos that I would want to have anybody understand around Dell EMC networking. As it pertains to that, uh, I run the product group associated with that business. So all the decisions in terms of products that we do and engineering that we invest in and who we collaborate in specifically around projects and open source, uh, that all originates from my team. So Drew, uh, Dell is an Emerald sponsor this year. Why was it important or why is it important to be uh, in a, a pivotal part of the OCP Virtual Summit? Well, we've, we've been a, a partner in OCP Summit for many years in the past. And one of the, you know, tying back to my previous answer on, on what is Dell EMC networking all about, this, this idea that open is the way that we're gonna drive this industry forward and fundamentally change the way our customers use networking on a day in and day out basis, we really need to find forums and communities like OCP where we can further that through you know, direct conversations and awareness, so making people understand the kind of things that we have and we're working on, but then also to collaborate as a community. So we've got a heavily investment specifically on the networking team, in the Sonic project within OCP, have done a lot of contributions, and participating in OCP is a great chance to get the latest and greatest from others that are doing work in this space, understand their plans for advancement, and ultimately collaborate and further what we can go do in projects like this. Specifically, uh, OCP um, as this platform, why did your company initially choose to be part of, of OCP? Well, this goes back several years. I, I, ironically, I was at the very first OCP summit. I wasn't in the networking capacities, but I was there. It was held at the Facebook campus in Palo Alto back when they used to be in Palo Alto. Um, so we've been doing this for a long time. Um, and there, there's, there's a lot of common, I'd say, ethos in terms of what OCP is trying to do with how we've approached our philosophy around products, around focusing on standards, focusing on uh, you know, a, a level of, I keep using the term openness, but you know, to, to have a level of openness to give customers the flexibility to do what they want to with that product. But I think within that as well, it's a great chance to hear from those that use the products around what it is that they want to see. And so that's key for us in our long-term success where we can, you know, attend events like this and be a sponsor at events like this and get to hear directly from our end users around how they want to see you know, offers evolve over time and how we can, quite frankly, ultimately help them address their problems and pain points and what better way to go do it than engage in direct dialogue through a forum like this. Drew, can you tell us more about your involvement and contributions to the OCP software for open networking in the cloud Sonic community? Yeah. So Sonic is clearly the area where we've spent most of our time and involvement as a team. Uh, I think we go back to almost five years when we started doing our first contributions to Sonic as an open source project and have been contributing ever since. Um, this was a, a key area that we saw as a way to really fundamentally change the way networking was done in the industry globally, not within just a specific customer segment, where we saw what I would call the democratization of the network. This idea that, um, working with some you know, very large and influential players who've invested heavily in this, how they approached the network and, and built in a level of capability that was not only you know, good for them, but extensible into a broader set of customers. Drew, how do you like your virtual booth this year? Well, 
Um, this is the best virtual booth I've ever had. Uh, that, that said, it's also my first virtual booth. But no, I, I'm looking at a picture of it right now. Um, I, I really do enjoy it. I think this is a great creative idea, given that we're all trying to figure out how to, uh, you know, you know, translate what would have been an in-person conference into this virtual conference. And uh, no, I love it. We've got our logo up. We've got the nice couch settings and so forth. And uh, I, I really love the way that we've incorporated the ability to dig deeper into specific topics through the virtual booth by able to click on these topics and so forth and explore. Um, I think it's going to be great. I'm looking forward actually to seeing everybody else's virtual booths because to me, uh, it's going to be a lot more efficient way to go poke around and see what everybody's doing uh, kind of on your own time, which you don't always get that luxury when the, you know, when the event's going on in person where you've got conversations going and, oh, I wish I'd been able to stop by this booth. So uh, I, I'm excited about it, not only for me, but for everybody else that's going to happen. Too. Great. Well, in between virtual booth hopping, uh, what do you hope to take away from this year's OCP Virtual Summit and, and bring back to Dell? Well, I'll go back to the topic I said earlier, which is the end user's perspective. I, I know I've looked at the agenda. I've seen we've got a number of speakers coming in to talk about um, you know, how they're applying some of the initiatives out of OCP in their, in their environments or the steps that they're taking to start looking at it. To me, that's the most valuable. So I'm really looking forward to those end user sessions uh, at the top of my list. That would be uh, my, my interest. But then uh, for the broader community as well, be that, you know, other you know, vendors and suppliers that are participating in, there's always exciting things to hear about and uh, there's no shortage of, of new announcements to take in. So we'll be trying to digest that as well and understanding you know, how the industry is moving forward around uh, all things open. Well, of course we can check out your virtual booth, but uh, is there anywhere else that our viewers can go to learn more? Yeah, well, we always have our, our handy dandy website tag. So, uh, and I'm going to have to look at delltechnologies.com slash networking. So everything about Dell EMC networking can be found there. Um, all the details on our offerings. If you want to learn more, there's opportunities to click and speak with somebody in more detail or have somebody follow up with you. So uh, I encourage everybody to head on over to there. Well, thank you so much, Drew, for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Laura. This has been great and uh, looking forward to the, the event taking place here in a couple of weeks. And thank you viewers for tuning in to OCP TV. Enjoy the virtual show.